Welcome to another Notion tutorial. In this video, we're learning how to write to Notion databases. We're gonna use our pre-existing code that we've been building up over the previous four videos. If you need to catch up, go back, check out the previous videos. They're all five minutes, just like this one is gonna be, so that I can give you just the information you need to get started building your next application. I'm gonna start the timer for five minutes. And as you can see, we have our previous website analytics table set up. In this video, we're gonna be writing a new row and populating our user ID, event, and date. We're gonna create a simple function that writes explicitly to this table. So we'll call this def write row. And what we're gonna pass in is our client, our database ID, and then we're gonna pass in each individual column. There are many ways you could do this. For this video, we're gonna pass in our columns and pass in our user ID, event, and date. Now we're gonna call client.pages.create. We're going to pass in this, we're gonna spread an object, and then we're gonna pass in our parent, which is gonna be our database ID, perfect. And now we're going to explicitly set our properties for our new rows. If you remember in the previous video, we had our DB rows here at the end, but these rows were generated from uh, the more complex type of object that Notion gives back to us, where we have our fields nested in properties, event, select, name, and date, date, start, and user ID, title, zeroth index, plain text, so in that same kind of vein, we need to specify our properties and tell Notion exactly where and what type we need to populate. So to do that, we're going to pass in our user ID, which is the name of our column, and then we're going to uh, set the title, and then we're gonna pass in a list with text items in it. So this is the format for building out uh, text columns, all right? so. Next, we're gonna pass in our event, which isn't exactly the same thing. Because our event is a select type, we need a different structure, so we're gonna call this select. And then we pass in its name exactly. And for our date type, we need a different structure, and this is the structure we need, right? So for the date type, we pass in date, start, and then our actual date. So, great, so this should be our write row function. As you can see, the tricky part here is making sure that you're aligning the object structure of the column with the type of column structure that Notion needs. I know it's a little complicated, but basically for every type you have in your Notion database, you need to change the object structure in which you're writing. So that's that. Let's go ahead and create a new row. So I'm gonna write uh, create row. We're gonna pass in all of our information. Uh, and then we're going to be more specific here, we're gonna say user ID, we're gonna pass in an event and a date. So let's go ahead and now create these fields. Okay. And for our date, we're gonna use a UUID UUID4, and we can import that in a moment. For our event, um, let's go ahead and reuse our signup event specified here. And for our date, let's go ahead and just run it to, um, We'll set it to today. So this will be the, this is 1228. I think it's here month day. Um, so that's that. Let's go ahead and get our UUID import here so that we can generate new IDs on the fly. And let's go ahead and run our code. All right, so we got a error here. Uh, basically, we're just complaining that we need to cast this to a string. Let's go ahead and knock that out and we run our code. And excellent, as you can see here, <laughs> we just generated a new row. So right from our code, right from the Python script, we created a new, a new row and we can do this again. Let's go ahead and change our event here. We'll do a visitor event and we'll set it up to um, four days ago. And let's run the code again. Keep your eye on the database here. Awesome. So there we go, we got a visitor row. And this is really cool guys. So you know, in roughly five minutes, we learned how to write information to our Notion database. When you're building out custom applications, using a database with specified column headers is a huge advantage because it gives you structured data, right? Having structured data as a table is a fantastic way to organize and manage your information. We're doing all this to set up for building out bigger applications, more complex applications. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the previous videos if you haven't, and let's check this off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.